Welcome back to Motor Authority Philippines, where we break down the most important updates in military technology and maritime defense. Today, we're diving deep into two significant assets that are quietly but powerfully reshaping the surface combat capability of the Philippine Navy either BRP Miguel Malva, FFG-06, and BRP Diego Silang, FFG-07. These guided missile frigates, forming part of the modernized Miguel Malva class, are not just naval platforms A they represent a new era of maritime security for the Philippines especially with their missile systems planned for full operational readiness by 2026. The transformation of these vessels is part of the Navy's broader strategic shift from coastal defense to a more credible, offensive-capable maritime force. The original Miguel Malva-class ships have a long history, tracing their lineage to ex-US Navy ships that were heavily relied on for patrol duties in the post-World War II era. But with the 2026 upgrades, these namesakes ABRP Miguel Malva and BRP Diego Salang are now on track to become potent guided missile platforms, essentially rewriting their legacy. First, let's look at what these ships were and what they're becoming. The original BRP Miguel Malva, PS-19, which was decommissioned in 2021, was a venerable warship often described as a workhorse of the Philippine fleet. But the new FFG-06 iteration is a completely different story. Built on a modernized hull and equipped with cutting-edge electronics and weapons systems, this vessel is being designed from the keel up to function in a high-threat environment. The same goes for the BRP Diego Silang, FFG-07, named after one of the Philippines' revolutionary heroes. Both vessels are projected to be fully fitted with guided missile capabilities by 2026. These include surface-to-surface -surface and surface-to-air missile systems a serious leap in firepower and tactical options for the Philippine Navy. One of the most anticipated upgrades is the inclusion of anti-ship missiles, possibly from South Korean or European manufacturers allowing the ships to engage threats far beyond visual range. Alongside missile systems, these frigates will feature a combat management system, CMS, which acts as the ship's brain A integrating radar, sonar, weapons control, and tactical data links. This level of automation and integration allows for faster decision making and better coordination, especially in joint operations with allied navies. But these missile upgrades are not standalone developments. They're part of Horizon 3 of the Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program, a, a long term strategic roadmap aimed at improving deterrence capabilities. The emphasis is not just on acquiring ships but making sure those ships have the firepower and sensors to function in multi domain conflict scenarios. Now let's talk about why these upgrades matter. The Philippines occupies a strategic position in Southeast Asia. With increasing tensions in the West Philippine Sea and broader South China Sea, the need for credible deterrence is no longer theoretical. Incidents involving maritime militias, coast guard encounters, and foreign naval patrols have all highlighted the vulnerabilities of an under-equipped naval force. The addition of missile-capable frigates offers the Philippine Navy a stronger hand in defending maritime claims and securing sea lines of communication. Consider this, a single guided missile frigate, with a well-integrated radar system and anti-ship missile loadout, can control sea access over a vast area. Multiply that by two with the FFG-06 and FFG-07 and you begin to see the strategic value they are for a especially when paired with maritime patrol aircraft and coastal radar installations. Another key point is interoperability. These new generation frigates are being designed to operate seamlessly with Allied navies a particularly those of the United States, Japan, Australia, and South Korea. With compatible data links like Link 16, the BRP Miguel Malva and BRP Diego Silang can share targeting information, 
participate in coordinated patrols, and even engage in real-time joint maritime warfare exercises. This improves not just deterrence but also regional stability. The crew on board these ships will also benefit from major upgrades in habitability and technology. Gone are the days of aging analog consoles and basic sonar systems. These new vessels feature digital controls, satellite communications, 3D air and surface search radar, and likely even electronic warfare suites capable of jamming or spoofing enemy sensors. A particularly noteworthy aspect is the vertical launch system, VLS, being considered for future implementation. Although not yet confirmed for 2026, defense insiders have hinted that space is being allocated on board both ships for future VLS cells A potentially allowing for point defense missiles or even cruise missiles. If that happens, these ships could provide area defense capabilities which is a significant leap from traditional point defense systems. Let's talk propulsion and endurance. These ships are expected to be powered by modern diesel engines that provide greater fuel efficiency and longer range. This is essential for extended patrols in the Philippine Exclusive Economic Zone, EES, especially around contested waters like the Calayan Island Group and Scarborough Shoal. In terms of displacement, while exact specs haven't been released, it's expected that the ships will come in at around 2,500 to 3,000 tons full load. This places them in the light frigate category, ideal for both blue water operations and coastal defense. Of course, all these systems and weapons are only as effective as the sailors who operate them. That's why the Philippine Navy has been heavily investing in training and joint exercises. Crews assigned to these frigates are undergoing advanced simulation-based training and participating in international naval exercises like RIMPAC and CARAT, where they get real-world exposure to integrated naval combat operations. By 2026, when both BRP Miguel Malva, FFG-06, and BRP Diego Silang, FFG-07, are fully operational with missile capabilities, the Philippine Navy will have taken a bold step forward. These aren't just ships they're symbols of a nation asserting its rights, projecting power within its maritime territory, and aligning more closely with a rules-based international order. Critics may argue that two frigates won't change the balance of power in the region. And yes, the maritime domain is still dominated by larger navies with dozens of major surface combatants. But for the Philippines, the value of these ships lies not in matching force with force, but in establishing credible deterrence. They send a clear signal A that any incursion will be met not by patrol boats or press releases, but by guided missiles launched from a capable warship. That's a message worth sending. So, what do you think about the future of the Philippine Navy and its modernization path? Will the BRP Miguel Malva and BRP Diego Silang set the standard for future surface combatants? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Motor Authority Philippines, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next deep dive into military tech and defense strategy. Thanks for watching, and as always a stay sharp, stay aware, and stay patriotic.